Okay, so today we're going to learn how to build airplanes. And we're going to try and think like engineers and act like engineers. So what does that mean? It means the first step would be that we look around us and we learn from existing designs. Because all engineering is redesign and there's always a better way to learn and do things. Okay, so what are some really cool uh, flying creatures that we can learn from? One that you see almost every day is the pigeon. Have you ever noticed how it's so fat but it can still climb vertically straight up, right? Um, can you think of an airplane that can climb vertically up like that? So one example is the helicopter. And uh, maybe Sikorsky was inspired by the pigeon to make the helicopter. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at some cool bird videos and I would recommend you uh, take a couple of notes because there's so many cool features that you're going to forget if you don't uh, take notes. And some tips about how to, um, what to look out for. So notice how the bird's wings change shape when it flies. Notice how the feathers are going to change when they, with, the, with the change in the speed. Notice what the bird does with the tail. Um, and just generally wing shapes depending on how um, the bird is flying, whether over uh, air, uh, over land, or over the water. Alright, so what do you notice about the fuselage or the body of the airplane? There's something pretty unusual in the shape. So if you see, it's triangular. And you can make a circular um, fuselage and I would highly recommend that you try it out. But think about how the wings are attached to the fuselage, right? So if you had a circular fuselage, there wouldn't be such a broad point of contact, right? And when your plane crashes, which is going to crash many times, the wings will fall off pretty quickly. Okay, so I recommend you try both, but then you see which one works better. All right, another, another advantage to having the triangular fuselage is that it's structurally pretty strong. So again, if it crashes, it's not going to bend so, so easily. Okay, now what do you notice about where the wings are placed on the fuselage? If you notice, they're not right at the nose. They're not right at the center but they're somewhat sort of shifted but close to the nose okay and again I'll encourage you to try all three so first build the airplane put the wings in the nose see how it flies okay then put the wings right in the center see how it flies and then put them over here and see which one flies the best okay okay what do you notice about the tail of the airplane so there's a horizontal stabilizer and there's a vertical stabilizer and if you notice closely I've cut these little elevators at the back okay now let's see what these elevators do so suppose you're like a little air molecule and you're coming over the airplane coming 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 and you hit this elevator hit it and you push it up and the airplane goes up okay you climb now suppose you turn the elevator tabs down and you're an air molecule coming under the wing coming 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 push it and it goes down okay so these are your control surfaces can, can you guess what this little tab on the vertical stabilizer would do so suppose again you that little air molecule coming 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 pushes it turns it to the right all right do it to the left and it turns to the left so it's this little thing is like the rudder on a boat it helps keep your plane uh, flying straight all right so what else can we notice about the, the plane that you want to keep in mind. So do you notice that I have something over here on the nose? What do you notice? There's, you can call it a little bit of a weight. And again, I encourage you, you can make your airplane fly without the nose weight, see what happens. Put the nose weight on and then see what happens, okay? So let's plan out a little bit in our head. So 
We're going to leave a big area for the wings because we need big wings, right? We don't have an engine on our glider, so we need to have as as big a possible a wing so that the glider can go far. And then maybe we leave so much for the fuselage. All right, so now we're going to start cutting. Um, and you can use rulers to cut. I'm just going to do it like this. So, and then you want to make uh, I'm going to make the triangle of fuselage. You can make the circular one if you want, um, but here's how you do the triangular one. Fold it, make sure it's nice and tight, and I didn't fold it very well, so I need to make sure I cut this. And then open it up, and you tape it. So when you tape, you want to make sure your tape doesn't wrinkle. What do you think is going to happen if the tape wrinkles? The air is coming along and then if the tape is wrinkled, it's like a little speed bump. And I just wrinkled it, so that's not good. But when you do it, you're probably going to do a better job. So, And make sure you don't leave too many air gaps. Because again, then the air is going to leak out and the flow of the, the wing won't be so good. So now we come, we have this much left, and you want to start thinking about leaving a little bit for the tail, um, and then the rest would be for your wings. So when you make your wings, you have to make sure both sides of the wings are exactly the same. So think about it. Why do you think we want the wings to be exactly the same? Suppose one wing was shorter than the other, the airplane would be like Nemo. It would be all imbalanced. So we want to make sure our wings are exactly the same. And this is where you can have a lot of fun. You can fold the wings and you can cut them in whatever shape you want. So the previous one I had made like an eagle. This one, I'm not completely sure how I want to make it, but maybe I'll give it a seagull type of a wing. Okay. Now, think about it. Um, so where would you want me to put the, the wings? Um, I've done this before, so I'm going to say I'm going to put it somewhere around here. And notice, uh, and this I never said in the bef in before, but when you put the wings, you have to put them folded upwards. And I encourage you um, to try both. You can put them folding down and folding up, and then see if there's a difference in how your plane flies. If there's a difference, I would I would go on the internet and look up anhedral and dihedral stability and see why they're different. Okay. So tape it over here. Now we've got the, the tail. Again you make sure both sides of the tail are the same. Alright. And so same with the tail, you put it put it folding folding up. Make sure it's in the middle and tape it on the side like that. You want to make sure you don't put too much tape because again your, your airplane doesn't have an engine and you want to make sure the weight is nice and low. And now we have the last part, the vertical stabilizer and you can put something like this. Put it in the middle. I think my previous plane was a bit better. Okay. Start putting the paper clip um, on the nose weight. So how do you test and see whether the weight is, is correct? You put one finger under each wing like this and see which part's heavier. So right now the tail is leaning down, right? So what can we do to make it come up like that? Right, so we're going to put some more paper clips. And it's pretty good. And you're done.